Ooh, are you vlogging? Oh, cool, can I be in it? Oh, okay, well, I'll leave you alone then. Hello, filmmakers, Ash here, and welcome to Film It Yourself. Recently, I went to the Oregon Short Film Festival and decided to upgrade my phone vlogging setup before I went. While I love cameras, sometimes when I travel, I just don't wanna be weighed down by a bunch of camera gear. And the iPhone cameras have gotten really good. So I like to rock an all iPhone setup on travel. And I've gotta say, this is the best vlogging phone setup I've ever had. And I'm super excited to share it with you. So let's get into it. The first and most important part is my small rig video kit rig for iPhone. And this is basically a camera cage for your phone. And it's made out of actual metal, which is great. So you know it's going to be super durable. And I love the color, it's sort of a space gray. Now this is made for the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, but they also make a universal version that fits most phones. You can get it with a nice grip, which is really helpful for stabilization when you're shooting out in the field. And it has a nice soft grip to it, which is really great. Plus it has three more quarter inch screw mounts on the top and it has a hidden Allen wrench right in here that's magnetic. So it just snaps in like that. Super handy and useful. And the Allen wrench allows you to adjust the height of the handle up and down so that you can adjust where this falls for your maximum comfort. Now, pro tip, I do recommend putting the handle on the opposite side that the phone case latches close. You can see here, it just opens like this. You slide your phone in and it snaps closed. And the reason for that is I found there was some audio issues with it slightly jiggling because it's not 100% snug. So if you just put the grip on the opposite side, you're good for audio and you won't get all those extra jiggles from the latch. Now, putting it on this side might get in the way of you plugging a mic directly into your phone. So just make sure that you unscrew this, plug in your mic and then screw it back in. I found that, I don't know if you can see it, but the little, little door for it is a, a little tight with the handle on. So that's a helpful hint for you. Now, what I really love about this is that the case itself has two cold shoe mounts, one here and one on the side as well. And it also has several quarter inch screw mounts. And boy, does it have a lot of screw mounts. In total, it's like 12 mounts. As you can see here, it has four on top, four on bottom, two on either side, and then there's three more on the handle. Now the cold shoe mount allows you to mount things like lights or mics, which is pretty great. And this whole thing comes in, minus this little dude, for only $58. Now I do recommend that you get this little dude as well. This is the small rig cold shoe mount and it's only about $8. And this enables you to put a light on and it has a little ball head mount so that you can move it around and adjust it perfectly. Also great for mics or whatever might have a screw mount on it. I love this because if I'm shooting and I'm vlogging myself, I can quickly rotate the light around and then get whatever environment or if I'm interviewing another person, I can light them as well. Super easy, way easier than taking the actual hot shoe mount off and flipping it around, which I've had to do before and it's a real pain. Next up is the Apache Clip Mic Digital 2. And this is a super high quality lav mic that plugs right into your phone. They have different cable connectors, so depending on your phone's connection, they should have a cable connection for you here. Now it records up to 96 thousand hertz sample rate, which is really high quality and unheard of for a lav mic that plugs into your phone. Now it also works with an app, which is really great. That gives you some custom settings where you can set levels and name your clip and whatnot. And it lets you reduce rumble and hiss in your audio, as well as it prevents it from peaking with an overload eliminator setting. All super handy, awesome stuff that you don't normally get with a plug and play mic like this. 
Now I love how small and low profile it is for shooting. It's just this little guy here. And it comes with this great carrying case that you can throw in a bag and keep your mic safe, which you know, I absolutely love carrying cases and I'm all about protecting your investments and gear. There's actually a lot more cool features about this mic that I won't cover here, but you can check them out in my full product review video here. It prices in at about $199, which is a bit pricey, but I'm telling you that the audio quality you get out of this guy is totally worth it. But for when I want a cordless mic option, I like to use the Rode VideoMic Pro. And this is an essential for any gorilla filmmakers out there. This is a compact shotgun style microphone. It runs off a nine volt battery, which goes in right here. And it has a 3.5 millimeter stereo mini jack output, which you can plug into a camera, audio port, or your phone's headphone jack port if you still have that plug. If not, you can get an adapter, don't worry. I'm looking at you Apple users. Now this comes in at around $150, which is a pretty good price considering it's a shotgun microphone from Rode. And then finally, the icing on the cake of my vlog setup is this guy. This is the Aperture MC Lite. And it's super cool because it allows you to fully adjust color temperature. You can see here, I can, bring it down to tungsten and I can totally dim it and bring it up to whatever brightness I want. I will set it back, whoops, to 56K, which is daylight. So you can see it here. And on top of that, it also has all sorts of colors, not that you would use that for vlogging. I won't cover that here. I have more about this light in its own product review here, but some cool features for vlogging is it has the silicone nice softener on it. So it's a diffuser that helps diffuse the light. This is what the light actually looks like. It's actually super tiny, which is really cool. So the silicone diffuser just goes right on here and it helps diffuse the light so that it's nice and soft on your skin because you don't want hard light when you're lighting yourself. And what's really cool is it can just attach like so to the small rig cold shoe mount because it just has a screw mount right there on the bottom. And then because of the ball head, you can adjust it however you need it. We'll just turn this guy back on and then voila, you have lighting wherever you're vlogging, which is super cool. This came in real handy when I went to the Oregon Short Film Festival and it took place at night because it was a drive-in movie theater. So I used this to take photos and video and it was amazing. And the coolest part about all of this is that all this gear fits easily inside a bag or a purse. So when you're traveling, you're not over encumbered with gear and you can just pull it out quickly and shoot. Having the option to still get good quality footage and not have to worry about my camera getting knocked around at a busy event or being heavy to carry is a game changer for me. Plus, I used to always worry about my camera gear when I would leave it behind in a hotel room. So the fact that I can carry this all with me always is a huge stress reliever. So yeah, that's my best vlogging phone setup of 2021 for me. Do you have any cool video phone accessories that you'd recommend for vlogging that I didn't cover here? If so, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what gear you like using. Also, if you're looking for even more filmmaking gear, you can check out my filmmaking product review playlist here. And as always, don't forget that you can join the FIY crew by supporting me on Patreon. There, I have different tiers that get you early access to all of my videos, downloads for my filmmaking templates, and access to my filmmaker chats, where I chat with other filmmakers to get their tips and sage wisdom. You can find a link to my Patreon account in the description below. Oh, and hey, also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, because you know that whole algorithm thing with YouTube, it really helps me out. So thanks, buddy. Ooh, are you still vlogging? Oh, okay. All right, have fun. Love you.